Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get HDR photos on your iPod Touch 4th generation as we have here. So this is the iPod Touch 4th generation with the front facing camera and the back facing camera. Now obviously most of you should know already that this is already on the iPhone 4, the HDR photos. So now I'm going to be showing you how to uh, get it on the iPod Touch 4th generation because it didn't um, come on it. So basically just a quick note that your device has to be jailbroken and we'll be using Cydia in this video. Now if you're... Uh, device isn't jailbroken and you want to jailbreak, click anywhere on my iPod or anywhere on the video now and there'll be an annotation. Click on that and it'll take you to our jailbreak video which will show you how to jailbreak iPhone 4, iPod Touch 4G, iPad um, and all that sort of stuff on the uh, 4.1 firmware and that is uh, Mac and Windows. So click on the annotation now on the screen and it'll show you how to jailbreak with uh, 4.1. So basically first thing you want to go up and open uh, Cydia as we have here. Now basically, uh, high dynamic range, um, let's tell you a bit about it. Well first I'll show you how to get it, then I'll go into a bit of a demo here. But firstly, you want to open up Cydia. Now I don't believe you will need a source for this, but if you do, if um, it isn't coming up for some people, just uh, leave a comment below and I'll find the source that you will need for it. So basically, you just want to go into search and search for HDR. And as you can see there, HDR enabler, so search that. And there it is there, I've already installed it, but you want to click on that. And up here on mine it says modify, because I've already installed it. You want to, it will say install, then confirm, so just install it all. And once you've done that, um, it will ask you to reboot your device. It simply just reboot your device, but if it doesn't, uh, simply reboot your device manually, simply by just holding the uh, power sleep button at the top, switching it off, and then switching it back on. So basically, once you've done that, it should automatically come up in your camera app. As you can see here, at the top now we have HDR on. If I tap it, it's HDR off. Now, um, I've just gone blank a bit. I can't really remember what it stands for, but I know the first two letters stand for high dynamic. I could, it, the R could be for range, I'm not too sure. But basically, um, yeah, high, I think it's high, dyna high dynamic range. But basically, if you have it on, um, you just take a photo of something. I'll just take a photo of something running in front of me. And it's, as you can see, saving HDR. So basically, when you go to your photo album, it takes two pictures, and one of them is HDR, one of them isn't. And as you can see, this one is the HDR one because it has a little icon there. I'll try and get it to focus for you guys. But anyway, that's the little icon there. And so it makes two different pictures, but in settings, you have the option to um, do it so it only saves the HDR photo. And when you want to turn HDR off, you simply just turn HDR off and take another photo. There, just takes that normal photo. Now I'm just going to give you a bit of an example. Um, basically, I'm not too sure how to explain it, but basically it just clears up pictures. So here's a picture before. Here's the uh, normal picture. Let's put that in landscape mode. So here's the um, non-HDR picture. It's the picture of my computers and stuff like that. Now I notice you might. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it through the camera, but looking at my iPod uh, on the Mac screen, iTunes was opened, and when I took the photo non-HDR it didn't actually show like all the writing on the screen or anything like that so I'll zoom up there try and get it to focus but as you can see there that's the iTunes program open and it's currently all white it didn't show anything but um, with the HDR photo I'll zoom in there as you can see there all the uh, writing came up all the song names you've got the side panel there so as you can see there you can see it not too far you can't see it too good from here but when I zoom up a bit but it's definitely on the iPod you can really notice it when you're looking at the iPod, so here's HDR, you know it by, it says that icon there, HDR, so you can see all the stuff there, but non-HDR, you can't see it. And um, this wasn't edited, this was just taken, as I showed you before, the HDR. So that's it guys, thanks for watching, remember, um, if you do need to add a source, let me know, leave a comment below. Um, so yeah, but remember, after you install it, reboot your device, and it should come up automatically, and yeah. So if this did work, please leave a comment, please like this video. And please subscribe for more videos like this. Peace.